Hello, my name is Andrew, you can call me Cookies, and today we are taking a look at each of the boss encounters within the dungeon Plaguefall and figuring out how to best handle them as a healer. Globgrog is the first boss in the instance and is fairly straightforward. Slime Wave is a massive cone attack that is faced towards a random player, so position yourself close to the boss to make it much easier to move out of. Next, the boss will occasionally cast Plague Stomp, which knocks back and applies a moderate dot to all players, which also slows movement speed. Be sure to quickly move back up towards the boss right after the knockback as a slime wave cast will usually sh follow shortly after. The dot can be healed once you are in a good position close to the boss, and this dot can be dispelled by priests, monks, and paladins as a disease. So if you can dispel, just pick whichever player has the least movement abilities in your group. Next up we have Dr. Ickus. Firstly, Dr. Ickus and his various slime adds will apply dispellable debuffs on random players. Be sure to be dispelling these debuffs as soon as you're able to, otherwise you will fall behind very quickly as the debuffs will continue applying throughout the fight at a very expedited rate. Other than this, focus on helping your group deal damage to the plague bombs that spawn when the boss jumps to a new platform. The only real healing check in this fight is avoidable mechanics and some light ticking dots that are applied from the various debuffs that we are dispelling that are going out. The third boss in Plaguefall is Domina Venomblade. Stay stacked with at least one other party member for the duration of this fight. The only time you need to move out by yourself is if you have the Shadow Ambush debuff, which will detonate after a short delay, stunning everyone within the circle that is around you. To deal with this, you simply move out of the group, survive the burst of damage and the stun, then run back into the group. As a healer, keep in mind when the tank becomes affected by Cytotoxic Slash, as they will require extra single target healing for the whole duration of this dot. Other than this, keep players who have the Shadow Ambush debuff topped off and then run to them if they are unable to get back into the group in time. The fourth and final boss of Plaguefall is Margrave Stradama. Infectious Rain is the main ability we need to be ready for as it deals heavy damage to the group every two seconds and applies a stacking dot which lingers after the channel is finished, which will require a large amount of healing to be done in a short period of time. Other than this main damaging ability, the fight is heavily reliant on doing mechanics by killing adds and dodging the tentacles which slam down in various patterns. Just look for the safe spot or the tentacle that spawns first, and be sure to have the group topped off as much as possible to cover any potential mistakes that may happen. And that covers all four bosses in Plaguefall. Be sure to like the video if you found this helpful, and let me know your favorite boss in the instance. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.